Hi, I'm Melissa Reale Elliott. I'm a content marketing manager with DC Blocks. DC Blocks is a provider of tier three data centers across the Southeast, as well as boasting the newest cable landing station on the Eastern Seaboard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is where our dark fiber route begins. It will terminate in Lithia Springs, Georgia, uh, the site of one of our recently announced hyperscale ready data centers. So our chapter, it really, it begins closely examining our tactics towards efficient power utilization because frankly no data center can talk about their sustainability initiatives without tackling this problem and their consumption, how they're limiting their consumption. So we focus on uh, introducing the chapter of how we originated in building smaller, highly efficient data centers using the equipment and technologies that we knew would operate the best. And so all of those goals were to reduce energy usage for operations, for cooling, for lighting, and all of those, and taking deliberate actions across our system designs, our operational procedures. It looks into how we've applied different tools and systems to actively monitor those. Uh, a little bit into our designs about how we feature primarily waterless cooling, uh, or in one case, closed loop cooling where we, we try to recognize there are trade-offs between air and water-cooled facilities. So, uh, so you'd have to dive into that section for that. Um, I look a little bit into balancing production, not just the consumption side of things, in looking to how we worked with our utility partners, what they're providing to us in terms of re renewable energy mix. And last, I actually cover some of the sustainability assessments that we've used to evaluate and substantiate our commitments because, you know, we wanted to make sure we believe we're doing the right thing. We wanted this vetted by an industry third party. So this was performed by Informatech. It's their deep or data center energy efficiency program. And it scrutinized our energy, water usage, mechanical, electrical, airflow, operational processes. It was, it was actually intense. And they looked at other things we did like building a recycling program for construction materials where nothing had existed at the time. So they balanced all of that and they came out with a, a gold deep, uh, I'm sorry, a gold level certification for their deep review. And that's the highest tier that you can achieve. So. So that's, that's our chapter, is, is diving in and looking through the course that that journey has taken, um, key that it's a journey. It's one we'll continue to navigate our course on very, very carefully and in every way, strive to do the right thing for our customers, our stakeholders, our communities, and the world. So sustainability has mattered to me for most, all of my life that I can remember, frankly, and I've grown across a number of different software companies, IoT, large scale power distribution providers, now with a data center provider and applied different sustainability tips and tricks, uh, as well as my insights into power gen into this role. But every company I've worked for since college has made sustainability a key focus and has introduced me to new ways to examine the problem uh, from a different perspective. And it's so intricate, it's so multifaceted and I think that's the most important thing because we can try one tactic and it causes another to go off kilter. And through all of that journey, I've learned to embrace the idea that there are many viable solutions. They have to balance each other. And I think that's, that's exactly why a work like Greener Data comes in because it's all of us lending our voices to the industry to showcase what's worked and to help each other to join alongside on that journey. So I think in terms of the trends that we need to be watching um, and in terms of what's going on in the industry that we need to kind of keep a close tie to, I know a lot of people are focused on AI, on cooling, on uh, heat and how to manage that. But I think much more critically, it's going to be the power constraints that we're facing. and. So the number one priority and trend that I 
I think we have to follow even more is where is the power? What opportunities do we have to bring our own? What opportunities to build in microgrids? The technology that's going to support that isn't just you know, how to build that new power gen facility, but how to transmit it, how to store it. So battery technology is going to be critical as we all look to the safest and most reliable ways to do that. And, and honestly, that's where I'm more closely watching because I think, I think we're really reaching a critical point in our growth as an industry. Um, you know, we can build bigger, uh, <laughs> bigger data centers to support AI. We can build them to be as efficient as possible. We can build them to manage power usage for cooling as well as possible. But if the power is not there, it doesn't matter.